All right, got a 2012 Subaru Forester here. Just picked up from Copart Auto Auction. Um, it was listed as a run and drive. We didn't look at it because the auction is simply too far away to go inspect them beforehand. Won it, got it here, and unfortunately, the engine is no good. It's got almost no compression in cylinder three. This is one of the early FB25s. These engines are notoriously bad. Um, they burn oil. I've seen some of them go through a quart of oil within 300 miles. Um, what happens is you end up you know, ruining the catalytic converters, and if the owner is not checking their oil regularly, they end up running it out of oil and ruining the engine. Um, these engines are stupidly expensive. The junkyards want $2,500 for one, and there's a good chance the engine you buy from the junkyard is also going to burn oil. Um, so there's absolutely no point in doing that. So what we got is an FB20. This engine is out of a 12 Impreza. These FB20 engines are much, much better. I've never seen one have oil burning issues. They generally run forever with minimal trouble. And the best thing is these engines are dirt cheap. We got this one for 300 bucks with 111,000 miles on it. The junkyard that we got it from had 50 of these engines. They just don't go bad, so they don't sell any of them, and therefore, they're dirt cheap. And they are almost a direct drop-in to this car that has the FB25. There's a few minor differences, but they don't make any difference. You'll notice that the FB20 has cam sensors and cam phasers on the exhaust cams, whereas the FB25 does not. Doesn't matter. You just leave them disconnected. They're along for the ride. They don't cause any problems. Um, the flywheel, you have to change if the transmission is different than the one you're putting the, in, the engine into. This uh, Impreza engine had a TR580 on it, CVT. The Forester that we're putting into has a 4EAT, so I have to change the flywheel. Also, this engine has the tranny cooler lines for the CVT, which are now unnecessary. Um, so you can either plug them off, loop them around, or just change the water crossover and get rid of them entirely. It's up to you. Um, it's a good idea to change the intake and the wiring harness. Um, there's minor differences from year to year. It's always best to use the intake and wiring harness off the original car. Um, and sometimes on these, you also need to change the fuel injectors. Sometimes you'll do the swap and you'll get a lean, a lean code. Um, it's just a matter of swapping the, putting the e, uh, FB25 injectors into the FB20, um, and that solves the problem. Um, you lose a little bit of power. The FB20 has a little less horsepower, but you save a ton of money, and you gain a whole bunch of reliability over the FB25. Um, so I'm not going to bore you to death. The, uh, the engine on these is very easy to take out. It takes you less than an hour to pull the engine out, and there's a million videos on how to pull a Subaru engine. But I will continue the video after I get the FB20 in and get it running. We're back with our 2012 Forester and the FB20 is now installed. You can see down there, it's FB20. And this is the old engine that I pulled out of it, the FB25. Um, I've driven it about 50 miles, got all the readiness monitors except for EVAP done, There's no check engine light, <laughs> runs really good, I'll start it up, see no check engine light and the readiness monitors are all done with the exception of EVAP, I don't think there's enough fuel in the tank for EVAP to, uh, to go, um, it was simple, simple swap. Um, I did have to change the fuel injectors. I had a code for um, lean exhaust, uh, lean system two lean bank one. As soon as I changed the injectors out, um, it went right away. These the two uh, two O has these light blue injectors on it. The two five has some dark blue ones. Changing the injectors out made the code go away. It has not come back, um, and there was no other codes on it at all so all in all it's a good option um it's like i said this motor was 300 dollars from the junkyard i looked on carpart.com the junkyard locator this morning the cheapest fb25 i could find 
around here was $2,500. Some of them went up to $4,300. That's absolutely ludicrous for a 2012 car. I mean, a $4,300 engine is, that's insane. Um, so, I mean, it's a good option. Um, the power, you lose about 20 horsepower. The, uh, I think it's a, about 148 is the horsepower on these two O's. The uh, uh, FB25 is at 170. On a stick shift, you really don't notice it at all. On an automatic, it is a bit doggy on steep hills, but you know, for a freaking grocery getter car, who cares? <laughs> so that's about it. I mean, it's a good option to, you know, if you need to save money and get the car back on the road, um, give it a shot.